Okay, what you see in back of me is a farm. Now this is an old farm. This is a farm that was here during the battle. This road right here, this is Britain Bridge Road. This is where Anthony Sullivan's troops would have been stationed. As you can see in the distance, there's an embankment where a covered bridge used to be. This is Britain's Bridge Road. It went and went by this farm right here. Now the road on off to my right here goes up and joins the Birmingham Meeting House. These are very few and far between during this time, these roads. The farm out in the distance is this is where the, the, the flanking maneuver would have been done by the British. This would have been to the far right of their line. This is where they would have been stationed in the woods behind me. And they would have came across that ford there. There was not a bridge during that time. There was no covered structure during that time. They would have come across the ford there. They were stationed there with their wagons. They were stationed there with troops. They knew that they could outflank Anthony Sullivan's division that was stationed about a quarter mile from Chad's Ford right now. We're about a quarter mile from Chad's Ford. That's either that's to my east. As you can see the terrain here, it's flat generally. Behind me is the ridge I was talking about. Now this ridge, like I said, will extend all the way down into Route 1 and Creek Road. Now in front of me, it's very easily exactly like it would have been during the battle. It would have been a cut grass field. There would have been uh, crops in the area during this time. Now generally, uh, corn during the 17th and 18th century wasn't like corn we have today. The corn was shorter and the cobs were smaller. The corn we have today is uh, genetically enhanced, it's larger. Now there would have been corn here. Now if you had troops coming across the Brandywine in this position, this would have been a wheat field or a corn field. You would know that the troops were coming. So, you, uh, so basically, in this general area, Sullivan was ordered, he was protecting this fort down here. He was ordered by Washington to advance on Birmingham Meeting House. Now I'm going to pan and I'll show you the road that he went up to. You can see behind me, there's an intersection. This intersection is Creek Road, which would be here during the time, and Britain Bridge Road. Now this road is an easy access uh, all the way up to Birmingham, or close to the Birmingham Meeting House. Now Meeting House Road that goes directly to Birmingham is about a quarter of a mile to my north. They didn't take that route. Anthony Sullivan got lost. He went up this road here during the time it was a cart path and traversed these woods. He had to leave this position immediately and the British who were on the other side saw this. He was ordered by Washington to reinforce the uh, street road in 926 at that time. He had to be there uh, to stop the, the flanking maneuver from Cornwallis and Howe. He left this position and he traversed the woods that you see in about 45 minutes. Now, during this time, I think there were two field pieces. This would have been the last of the artillery in this area. There was probably two field pieces probably on top of the ridge behind me that was protecting this ford. Now, there was fords all along the, the Chad's Ford Creek. Now, these fords, like I was saying, were cart paths that the, the inhabitants used to get across the creek. Now they were also very uh, instrumental in stopping the British. If you held the ford, they couldn't get their ammunition wagons. They couldn't get anything else across the creek to pursue you and to destroy you. So basically Sullivan was all in this division, even where I'm standing. He would have had troops stationed in the area. He would have had cannons stationed in the area. Now during this time, he advanced up the road. Now usually a road goes in one direction. This road is very windy. I'm standing on flat ground. This is the, the Brandywine Plateau. The creek is to my east, over to about 300 yards. And also this hill, it's a plateau. You have to traverse these hills. You have to maintain a certain speed to get to where you're going. And sometimes, basically, you might get lost by going up this ridge, which they did. They got lost. Anthony Sullivan arrived 
in the line in 45 minutes at Street Road, but he was too far north. He was on Street Road. While the rest of Sterling's division was further down, had advanced, and also they formed that Birmingham Meeting House. And before, uh, like I was saying, they, uh, there was a gap in the line. Uh, Sullivan's men got lost, and he, uh, he advanced too far. Now, that had uh, consequences, as we went into in further videos, but I just wanted to show you that this is the area where Sullivan left and advanced on the Birmingham Meeting House.